Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So today we're going to be spraying this Land Cruiser in some red colour. I can't even remember the name of it, but it's not really important. The important part is that it was 43 degree panel temperature as I was spraying and that's like 110 degrees for my American viewers, so absolutely stinking hot. Now I'm sure that I'm going to get a few people saying um, you shouldn't even be spraying at that temperature and I'm not that kind of guy, I'm a can do type guy. Now look, there's within certain reason, like within reason I would probably say if this was silver, uh, not probably, I would definitely say to my boss if this was silver, forget about it man. I'm not even going to try because we're going to be redoing it again tomorrow morning, you know, but they needed this car done, like, for whatever reason, it's just a hectic place to work here, and the bosses are always like, we need that done, we need that done, we need that done, the, the customer's waiting, blah, 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 the insurance company's on our back. And, yeah, it's basically up to me to pump out as many jobs as I can in, in as short an amount of a time, and if the day so happens to be 45 degrees, the show must go on, and, uh, yeah, it is, it is what it is. So, basically, I'm just going to um, run through a few things that I found will help if you are spraying in the extreme heat. So basically, when you're spraying with Stando Blue, you've got a couple of different adjusters. You've got a standard and a slow. So obviously, use the slow adjuster and put some water in it. And that's pretty much it as far as mixing the paint goes. Like, you can't do much more with it than that to put a bit of water in it. So the uh, I think it's like a demineralized water. But yeah, obviously, if you've got this paint system, you will have a tin of water that you put in your paint and yeah things like a I can't remember the exact number that they put on it I've been away from work for five weeks as of making this video I got um, put into isolation because I went on holidays and then the world kind of um, totally changed on the way back but that's besides the point so basically add that 10 maybe even 15 percent on an extremely hot day like this of the of the water and just get in there and go as fast as you can. That's pretty much it. Now, one other thing that you might have noticed me doing at the at the start of this video was checking the temperatures with that infrared temperature gauge. So yeah, that thing's pretty handy to have around the workshop. I use it in the winter when I'm heating my clears up. I also like to use it when I'm doing my two-pack primer and drying it with the infrared curing lights just to make sure I'm not getting the, um, the panel or the primer too hot when I'm baking it. Um, but yeah, apart from that, basically, what you know, what, what I was trying to do when I was using that at the start is see if um, wiping the panels down with that water is going to drop a couple of uh, degrees out of the panel, and if it's going to stay cool enough by the time I sprayed it. And as it turned out, it didn't. Now, if you were keen and you were really paying attention to what was going on at the start before I wiped it down with water cleaner, it was like 43 degrees. And then after wiping it down, it got down to like 38. But then I checked it again before I started um, spraying. So obviously you need to tack rag after you've wiped it down with the water cleaner. And basically by the time I'd tack ragged it, that heat was back up there again. So look, I'd, I'd like to say that it works, but for me on this job here, it didn't really do much. So basically, it might help. I know it only might be one or two degrees, but you'll take anything you can get on an extremely hot day like this. So basically, wipe those panels down like last thing with the water cleaner. And you know, you might not be doing, say, such a big job as this one. You know, that's a pretty damn big bonnet and that was a pretty big door. So by the time I got to tack rag them down properly, maybe that took a little bit longer than if you're doing like just single panels. So that few degrees might stay out of the panel if you are doing uh, a smaller job or say just single panel. So it's still worth doing, don't get me wrong. But as I say on this job here, it really didn't matter that much because it was just so hot. So I don't know, this video has been actually sitting in the video editor for a good three months. Now I sprayed this one before Christmas and I still remember doing it because uh, this one had like a big bull bar on it and we had to get it sent away to a, a, a separate company and the boss was like man I need this thing back together today I sprayed this thing at like one o'clock in the afternoon or maybe I worked through my lunch break that's right it came out of the booth at one o'clock and the panel beta guys they were just like straight onto it as soon as it came out of the booth 
they're like fitting it up and um, the clear coat I used on this one here was a little bit different than the usual so usually we use the standoff standard clear in this workshop here but for this job here because I knew that the panel guys wanted to jump straight onto it I actually used one of the clears that the guys bought in when they were doing the demo for stando blue and that's called their standoff performance clear it is pretty amazing stuff it dries hard as a rock after say 25 minute bake so it's not like it dries like heaps faster than all the other clear like your standoff standard clear it'll pretty much dry just as fast right but once it's cooled down it feels like it's been left overnight rather than just half an hour so when you bake your standoff standard clear or most normal clears for half an hour um, and then you let it cool down you'll still be able to put a bit of a, a thumbprint in it and you can sort of put a bit of an indentation into it quite easily without even trying to you know so if you're not careful when you're unmasking you can actually do a bit of damage um, to the vehicles or to, to your fresh paintwork but um, yeah this clear here once you let it cool down it feels like you've left it overnight so you've left your normal clears overnight um, but yeah no it's great stuff so it also holds an absolutely awesome gloss retention so one of the paint reps was telling me that it's like right up the top it's supposedly they've got like this scale or something of um, like speed of drying and then gloss retention and stuff and supposedly yeah that VOC performance clear is like right up the top but yeah apart from that like basically the worst thing that can happen to you when you're spraying this stando blue is the first coat dries before you get your second coat on and look that's happening that is happening as I'm spraying this now luckily it was a dark enough color to not actually see it in the final result um, but yeah, look, if, as I said, if this is a silver, forget about it. Don't even try and be the hero. Uh, just tell your boss, mate, it's not going to happen. You should have given me the job earlier. You should have allocated me to that job a little bit earlier, even if it was in the paint shop. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my best on, on the job to get it done um, first thing in the morning when it's not quite as hot, but I'm not even going to attempt to spray a silver. Um, you can even see just with this single part here like it's a tiny little skinny valance panel and it's just drying within seconds so um, yeah look I was able to make it work but um, <laughs> yeah forget about it if it's a silver I'm gonna go and put some tunes on for the rest of this video I know not everybody likes it but at the end of the day you can turn the volume down or you can go and watch one of my other videos so yeah I hope you did enjoy watching and um, stick around to the end and yeah leave a thumbs up and hit subscribe and all that stuff if you haven't already
I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone for watching and if you'd like to support the channel further you're more than welcome to go over and check out some of the merchandise we've got. My personal favourite is those spray suits so they're a good quality collab branded spray suit with a gunman logo on it. There's also hats, drink coolers, hoodies and t-shirts so be sure to go over and check out the link in the description if you are interested. All that aside I'd just like to say a big thanks for watching and that is enough to support the channel but as I say if you'd like to go the next step then be sure to check out some of that merchandise. Thanks for watching and until next time get out there and paint some shit. Gunman out.